lot. Um, let's do that. Come back that way, bud. Okay. Okay, Dad. So right now I have a stuck screw here and I've tried to get it out and it's really not moving that much. I've tried to spray some kind of WD-40 PB Blast in there and I've I've tried to do all sorts of different things. Right now I'm trying to use a heating device. This is like a wood burner and I'm trying to just heat up that screw a little bit to try to heat it up and get it out. Uh, I'm also every time I go to spin it out I tighten it up a little bit first and then I re-spin it out kind of like when you tap a, uh, a thread in metal you want to go a little bit and then reverse and forward then reverse again trying to move some of that debris to a different spot so I'm going to just try that and see how well that all works right now it's pretty well stuck Like I said, he's actually working for it. reversing. And then going forward with it. But as you can see right now, it is starting to finally come out. Whew. That was a lot of work. A lot of issue with a screw. That's really hot. Maybe he can help. Maybe that out won't get it. Then I'll clean it Just looking in a hole. There's a lot of gunk in a hole. A lot of dirt stuff. So. Now that's off, all this is freed up. Now you guys are actually cleaning up the lane. Can you see that? No. What? Hold on. All right, go ahead. You should try your backflip like 360s and stuff, babe. What? You should try all your crazy backflip spins. So I went ahead and gotten all of my wooden parts completely cleaned now and it's amazing just to watch all the black kind of run off whenever you're doing it and then really watch a lot of the whitish or lighter color start coming through. The one good thing about it is that the boiled linseed oil does darken it back up and make it look kind of back how it used to before I started cleaning it except it doesn't leave the black gunk and grime and stuff like that on here. After I get finished with doing that I try to come back with another rag and because I've got all those metal parts I have to clean now I can go ahead and just take a rag and I will go over everything real quick with some more boiled linseed oil and this is not to clean it or anything like that this is simply to make sure that it's all lubricated and saturated with this stuff and I will go ahead and just leave this sitting on here while I'm taking care of all of the other metal parts.
Thanks for joining me today guys. I was able to get two planes restored today. I was able to get this little Sandusky coffin plane restored. This one was a pretty quick one. I just had to clean it up and sharpen up the blade. The blade wasn't even really that rusty or anything like that. And it does fairly well. This board is like one of my test boards. So it's all chunked up, chopped up, and it's got all sorts of different cuts and just profiles on it from testing it out. I'll cut off the size and do more testing on on different hand planes. So sometimes I can't get really good cuts clean like that, like I want. But this is supposed to be a pretty nice smoother. It's got a small open, or it's got a small opening on the mouth, which is very nice compared to like say this coffin planer right here or coffin plane right here, where it's got a little bit bigger of an opening. And then I've got one that's got a even tighter mouth right here that I want to try to get restored soon. But this plow plane came out pretty good. I can't wait to use it. I've got a bookshelf that I want to build here shortly and also a hand plane shelf for back here. So this will come in a lot of use at that time. It's made for obviously making grooves and it is just over half an inch wide and you know it'll fit great for like the back panel of bookcases and stuff like that so I can't wait to put that in use all of it works great the middle screw right here gave me trouble I was able to heat it up like I said with the little uh, wood burning iron and it came right out so I was happy that that came out I'm happy with how it turned out it's a lot cleaner it looks a lot better than it did. It's got some residual wax on here that I need to get off still. But, you know, it works 
really good. The iron is extremely sharp. I'm, I really enjoy using the strop right here. This was a great, I guess, investment. It was pretty much free, but uh, a great addition to the shop. If you guys don't have one of these, you know, check out one of my other videos recently on how to build this one, hooks into the bench, and also how to use this. So if you guys enjoyed the video, have any tips or comments, leave them down in the comments section below. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Share it around on all the social media as always. I appreciate everything you guys do, all the comments, thumbs ups. I really appreciate that. If you guys uh, enjoyed it, you know, let me know. Leave comments down below. I'll see you guys on the next video.